This is the second video in the series looking more closely into the structure's range from Matrix. In the first video, we showed you how easy this kit is to set up and how to follow an experiment using a USB connection. All the kits in the range can be used in both manual mode and in data acquisition mode. In this video, we will demonstrate the deflection of beams kit being used by the student in manual mode. Here, we are looking at worksheet four on page 12 of the curriculum. The focus of this investigation is to look at the two types of support, fixed supports and propped cantilever supports. To begin with, the student will set up the experiment based on the worksheet that they have chosen and in this instance, we are installing the brass beam. Simple screws make it easy for the student to change the beam, move the chucks, change the support type and secure everything into place. The dial gauge has its own power and is attached to the back panel with strong magnets, making it easy to slide up and down to change the distance of measurement. To start, set up the supports at both ends of the apparatus separated by the distance of 400 millimeters. Use a caliper gauge to measure the dimensions of the brass beam and place it centrally across the supports. Clamp the beam in position with the clamp plates and record the results. Suspend one empty mass hanger weight under the beam midway between the support blocks 200 millimeters from both sides. Zero the dial gauge and add 100 gram mass to the mass hanger. Observing some precautions, use the dial gauge to measure the deflection of the beam. Convert the measurements into SI units for later calculations and record it into the table into the student handbook. Repeat this process, increasing the load on the beam in the steps from 100 grams all the way up to 500 grams. Precautions students will need to consider when carrying out this experiment are what parameters to keep constant throughout the experiment and what to vary, what parameters to measure and over what range, how many measurements were needed to reach a firm conclusion, and how to display the results to justify their conclusions. The student can change the beam to different materials, can change the supports at either end, could change the distance between the supports, or remove the supports to create a cantilever. Plot a graph of the deflection versus load and measure its gradient, following the instructions in the student handout. Recording their results and ending up with a series of worksheets all to compare different parameters.